Hey, Jason from Theme Punch here. And in this video series, I'm going to be exploring the new Slider Revolution 6.0 with you. So in today's video, we'll go through the overview page. And this is where you will end up when you click this Slider Revolution button right here in your WordPress dashboard. So a few things about this page. If we scroll down, you can see there's a plugin update section. This is where you would be notified if an update is available and you can click update now to update the plugin instantly from the dashboard. System requirements is basically just some things for your WordPress setup that are important for the plugin to run smoothly. If you don't have all green check marks here, I'll post a link beneath this video to an article that can help you sort that out. And lastly, we have our plugin activation section, which is where you would put in your purchase code from your Code Canyon purchase. And that unlocks all of the premium templates, add ons, royalty free content, and more. So let's explore these four buttons right here. The first one is if I wanted to create a new module or slider, and that would just give me a blank canvas that I could start creating on my own. The second is if I wanted to import a template from the template library. The third is if I wanted to import a template, maybe one that was included with my theme. I would just import the zip right here. And lastly is the add-ons panel. And inside this panel is where you would install any add-ons that maybe a template is using or maybe that you just want to use for one of your new modules. So let's explore the template library. Now once I'm inside the library, I can use the category filters to the left. Give me different categories for different templates, carousel, slider, or I can search for a template if I want. And then toward the bottom, if I want to go through all of the templates, I can use the pagination here, or I can click show all and then scroll through all the templates. And then let's say I want to mark some of these templates as favorites for easy finding later. I can click this star here. And how about we favorite this one here as well. And I can click this favorites button and that just filters all my favorites. And lastly I can click this update list button and that'll give me all of the latest and greatest templates that are available. So if I hover over a template, I can click the plus button to get some information about it. I can click the eye icon to view the template on the Code Canyon preview page. And some templates are set up as full websites. So for example, this Wonderstruck one pager here is a template which includes several modules. We have a menu, a header, some content, and so what I could do is I could install one of these modules individually if I wanted, or I can go ahead and install the entire template package. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll install this Wonderstruck one pager. And here are all my modules. And if I click root, it's right here in this folder. And this is one of the new things about the 6.0 overview page is you now have the ability to manage and organize your modules in folders. So when you import a template package, it's automatically organized in a folder. Let's import another template. How about a restaurant menu? So you can see I have a module here and then I have a folder with my template package. And if I want to create a new folder, I can just click here, Add Folder. And then I can drag a module over to the left here into my new folder. And I can rename this folder. Maybe these are the modules for my special web page. There you go. Now I have a folder. I can put modules in here, any module I want, basically. And then if I want to take it out of the folder, I just drag it over to the left, back up to the root level. And we can delete that folder if we want. Okay, so if I click this down arrow here, then I'm given a bunch of options. I can duplicate the module, I can delete it, I can rename it, I can apply tags to it. For example, 
maybe this is restaurant, food, and then once I apply tags, let's say I have maybe 10, 20 modules, I can find those very easily just by searching for them here. And then if I want to get the short code, I can click embed, copy the short code right here. And this is also if maybe you wanted to embed the slider directly into one of your themes files. And I can also export the slider. Maybe I want to import it into another WordPress installation. And I can even export it just for separate HTML usage, which would create a zip of all the content, scripts, style sheets. So you could run the slider outside of WordPress. And the last thing I want to show you about this overview page here is the global settings. And I'll post a link to the document that covers all of the settings in here that you can review. And lastly, let's go ahead and add one of these modules to a web page. So I just click Add Block toward the bottom, Theme Punch, Slider Revolution, click the plus here, Update, and here is the restaurant menu template on my web page. And then if I want to edit this slider directly, I can just click right here, restaurant menu, that's going to take me directly to the editor. And this is what we're going to start exploring in the next videos of this series. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.